at 12 39 a.m i was sleep talking and i want to show you guys the clip because i think it's hilarious Good morning everyone, happy Monday. Today is off to a really great start, like I'm in a really good mood. Today was actually the launch of my Daydreamer collection for the to-do list, so if you guys don't know, I used to sell the physical in-person to-do list, they sold out, and so now I've just been releasing a bunch of digital to-do lists that you guys can use like on your iPads, on your phones, on your laptops, I personally like using them on my laptops. I have an Instagram reel and TikTok of how I use them on my laptop if you guys are at all curious, but I released four different to-do list backgrounds. I know this just sounds like promo, of like me just being like go buy it you don't have to buy it that's just what happened today so that was launched and released and you guys seem to really like it so i'm really happy but i have class on monday and wednesday so i have class today i have to leave for that eventually but i don't really have too much going on today well technically yes i do have a lot going on today or like i could but i think i'm just gonna space things out throughout the week i have a group project partner that was assigned to me and i accidentally ghosted him <laughs> i'm so sorry to him so i need to text him that's on my to-do list today oh my gosh you guys last night i got like no sleep at all because there were so many fire trucks police officers like driving past where i live because there's this apartment it's called west six it's a very well-known very expensive place to live in tempe like it's like the ultimate like how do i say this like i've heard a lot of bad things about it but it's a very expensive place to live and apparently there was a huge fire there last night and i was just like i heard all the sirens and i was like what's going on so then i went on yik yak do you guys have yik yak i was curious i was like how am i gonna find out where they're going and I was like yik yak it's like the gossip girl low-key it's gossip girl I've been thinking about it all day like I really haven't heard anything from it but I hope that everyone's okay like I heard it was a couple floors that caught on fire so I'm like I hope that everyone made it out there like safe it's a huge apartment so like imagine going down all those stairs this is what I'm wearing to class today tell me why wearing a leather jacket to class just feels so wrong but these are some jeans that I've had forever from American Eagle I really like them and then this bodysuit's from Zara this is from Princess Polly and then I'm wearing my my 444 necklace which is essentially like, like a friendship necklace with me and my best friend so we like each have matching ones and then I think I'm gonna wear some Air Force Ones it does feel so wrong wearing a leather jacket but I think that I'd be cold without it but my classroom is really really warm so I thought I could just take this off and I thought it'd be like a nice like I could wear this outside take it off inside when I eventually sweat because the class is in like a basement and it's really warm in there but this is the outfit lunchtime and my issue that I'm facing right now there's always an issue that I'm facing always but I want to make stuff but I have ingredients to make other stuff and I don't want these ingredients to go to waste so I'm like do I just make something that I don't want to eat just to use the ingredients if I make something that I don't want to eat will I then in turn not be satisfied with what I made and then just make what I wanted to eat originally and then I'm eating like two meals and then it's like okay well why didn't I just make what I wanted in the first place these are the things that I think about okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna think some things through and then I will get back to you with what I've decided. Okay, here's what I made. I'm gonna be honest, it did not really use up any of the leftovers that I needed to get rid of besides this chicken. I have like a ton of vegetables and there's not a vegetable in sight other than the bruschetta, which apparently it's pronounced bruschetta. I don't know. It's just chicken that I made in the air fryer. I put a little bit of mozzarella. I don't think that melted really great. Bruschetta, some balsamic glaze, and then I have two of these little ciabatta. I just like cut it, toasted it very lightly. It, there's not a vegetable in sight. <laughs> and I have no idea if it's gonna taste good, but that's what I'm eating. My lunch review. I am now a food critic and a chef, except for minus the chef because I wouldn't make it again. I have a bunch of other recipes that I'd rather make. <laughs> it was good, but it was just like, yeah. Been editing my YouTube video for a bit. I have the rough cut done all i need to do and this is what i've been doing it's like adding the music the effects the zoom ins the text like all that stuff and i've done a bit but i still have like quite a bit to do like i'm that in the video and 
I still have all of this left. I don't know if I have the motivation to finish this, but I'm proud of myself for doing it when, you know, I could have just not. And I have time. This video is up on Friday and today's only Monday. Pretty proud of myself I got halfway done. I've been trying to be a little bit easier on myself, especially because I'm not so packed and so busy like I used to be just because I'm not taking as many classes. I am taking on other things. Like things get off my plate and I'm like, let's add it back on. Let's add something else onto my plate. But I'm just trying not to like overwhelm myself to the point of burnout. Hello. It is now even later. I actually made dinner, but I didn't eat it. <laughs> I've been eating a ton of Reese's eggs today and I'm pretty full on Reese's eggs. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's a whole food category for me. I know, I know, I, I know. I just thought I'd update you guys on what I've been doing. I made dinner, like I said, but I didn't eat it because I wasn't hungry. So I made three stuffed bell peppers that I'm just gonna eat throughout the week and I'm really excited to show you guys them tomorrow. They look really good. It honestly took everything in me to like not, well, not really. Like I just wasn't hungry, but I was like, this looks good. I want to eat it, but like I was not hungry. And then I've just been doing some stuff for the to-do list. I just want to say you guys are really awesome and I just want to say thank you guys so much for if you guys bought the to-do list, if you didn't buy the to-do list. I am probably going to log off for the night. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. And just chill and hang out. Tell me that this does not look like it's coming out of my head. Let me just this is me in the middle of the night. Part of me wants to buy stuff on Amazon, but I'm like, no, I should not. But I'm like, but should I? Goodbye. I'm sorry. Gotta go. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm not gonna lie. The vibe was here. Now we're here and now we're getting down here <laughs> out of the shot The vibes are that low. My camera keeps falling. We're trying this again. See, that's just another reason the vibes are so low today So I have my capstone class last week I wrote a case study for something and I honestly thought I did a really good job Like I remember last week I was like this was a good case study Like I did a good job and I got my grade back and I got a 79 I thought I was gonna get an A. My boyfriend got an 80 So he got one point more than me, which I'm honestly like annoyed about because my paper was better in the nicest way. I apologize. I'm never someone who disagrees with a grade. Like if I get a grade that I'm not happy with, I'm like, okay, maybe my work wasn't A plus work, but I genuinely felt like my work was really good. And the thing that also really annoys me too, she said an announcement, she's like, your grades are in, you have comments about like what you guys could do better. Mine did not have that. My boyfriend had like tons of comments on his like really great this, you could improve on this. I got none of that. So I actually emailed the professor and in the most professional way, I basically said was like, I really want to get a good grade in your class. I saw that some of my peers got comments on their paper of ways they can improve. I did not get that. Again, I said this in a more professional way. I was like, I really want to get a good grade. If you have any feedback of like ways that I can improve my paper and the things that I got marked off on, I would really like appreciate that. But she hasn't emailed me back. So the vibes are low today. Also, it's like a super cloudy day. So the sun keeps going in and out of the clouds. So my room will be like super dark and then it'll be super bright. I don't mean to start this vlog off on a more negative foot. This is real life and sometimes things disappoint you my update for now i'm gonna work on a case write up for another class hopefully i won't get a 79 on that one honestly i'm so frustrated i feel like i could literally cry right now i was obviously just upset about my paper and then two more things just really <sighs> sorry i'm not trying to like be angry on camera but like i'm just this is real life and i'm just honestly on the verge of tears i'm so upset right now but i'm in my apartment's study room because my roommates were being really loud it's their house too they can be as loud as i want so I just left because I couldn't focus. But oh my god, I feel like I could literally cry. Like I don't even know how I'm gonna focus on this because I'm just so upset right now about my paper and about things I haven't even like mentioned to the camera. But like, <sighs> okay, I just need to do this paper. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still in a very, very bad mood because of someone who just... Uh. Anyways, my professor emailed me and she actually moved my grade up one point to an 80, which honestly, very thankful for her. She gave me my comments back on my paper and what I found like slightly infuriating... <laughs> Guys, I'm just in a bad mood today. She was like, I wish you would have talked about this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. However, none of this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this was on the rubric. I did exactly what was on the rubric, what was asked for. And the thing 
is. Some professors mark you off if you add things that they didn't ask for. I'm stressed. It's okay though. It's only the first paper. I now know that she wants me to somehow know what she wants me to talk about without her telling me that she wants me to talk about it. I just, ugh. I always say this like to myself. I don't know if I've ever said this to you guys, but if it was guaranteed that no one that I ever know or no one that I will ever meet in the future could watch my videos, I would tell you guys literally every ounce of tea. Like I would tell you everything in my life, but because it involves other people, I can't. The thing that's really annoying me right now, I can't talk about it because it involves a person. If I said it, you'd be like, oh, I understand why you're in a bad mood. Screw that person. But I can't tell you, screw that person. <sighs> Sorry, today's not going as well as I thought it was gonna be. Bell peppers. I did have one little bite because it was cold, so I needed to heat it up more. Let's talk about what's in them. Bell pepper. And then I made chicken breasts on the stove top, and then I just shredded it, put in mozzarella, marinara, and then I did a layer of rice, chicken, cheese. I cut them up like this to make it easier to heat up and honestly makes it a little easier to eat as well. Let's try them out. I did make three, so if I hate this, I have to eat two more. That was a big bite. The cheese is the best part. Mm -hmm. Within the past minute, I got the hiccups and yeah. see, yep, there, there they are. <gasps> I have the hiccups. I'm editing my video. <laughs> Sorry. It's just really hard to get words out, but I am editing my video. Towards the end of the video, like, I was just in a really bad mood, and I feel like it really came across on camera. And I'm like, oh my god, right now I'm in a really bad mood, and this is coming across on camera. And I'm so sorry. Like, it just, I never want to pretend to be perfect, but I also don't want to make content that ruins your day. I'm really sorry about the hiccups. If I could control it, I would. I am actually having, like, a good mindset about the hiccups. Like, it's kind of funny. <gasps> oh no, I'm my computer's frozen now. I know my food's right there. I need to bring it downstairs. And then that, I just, let me just pop. That's something that I do that really annoys me. I will leave drawers open and I'm trying to be better at it. But I wanted to show you, like, why am I so obsessed with my outfit? I wish the grays were the same shade. I've just been really into lounge sets, like matching sets recently. This is a shirt from Amazon. And then I got these iron on letters from Etsy and say shed. And I got them for all my roommates last year because that's what we used to call our apartment. I don't even know if we call this apartment the shed anymore. And then these are from Victoria's Secret Pink. They're like the pride month ones. Not to trash my boyfriend. He doesn't understand like style. And like a lounge set is like very stylish. He's like you look like you're wearing pajamas in public and I'm like this is like elite fashion right now Like you couldn't understand I saw this tiktok and it was like boyfriends will never understand my cool outfits And I know a lounge set is not like the coolest outfit in the world, but I feel good. I feel good I feel like I'm wearing pajamas, but honestly if you understand trends, it's not it's like it's fashion Okay, I'm gonna bring my plate downstairs and probably grab a Reese's egg or two Tell me why a Reese's egg always sounds good. Like even at like 8 a.m. I'm like ooh, Reese's eggs yum Happy Wednesday. Yesterday was a day, but last night my boyfriend and I actually we got ice cream and then we just like hung out and watched The Office together and like I feel like myself again. I feel like a person that is just not filled with like bleh. <laughs> Today is off to a better start already. I'm just, I'm glad I did that last night. The typical things that I do to like calm myself down when I'm like going through it, none of them was working. Like, I haven't even made my better wash my face yet. This is way before you normally see me. I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but I have this app. It's called Sleep Cycle, not sponsored. I've been using this app since I was 13. I literally paid for this with my own money. This company knows nothing about me, but it basically tracks your sleep. And I know there's a ton of apps out there that do this, but I've just been using it since I was 13. So this is like my new alarm clock. It tells you like if you snore your sleep regularity how long it took you to fall asleep what time you woke up at 12 39 a.m i was sleep talking and i want to show you guys the clip because i think it's hilarious and if you think this will creep you out of like me sleep talking just like skip this part of the video it also records you snoring which i in fact snore fun fact my nose i think we all know i have a very small nose my nose is so small but like my airway passages are just not like big <laughs> strawberries and when we get strawberries like what? Why am I talking about strawberries? And I don't remember any dream that has anything to do with strawberries because sometimes when it says talking It'll be like my roommates are like talking outside my room and like it'll pick up on that and think it's that But this I thought that was so funny and I wanted to share with you guys, but I need to wash my face Does anyone else like hate washing their face or is that just me? I also wanted to let you know, in case you guys are curious and you've been following along, still, I think that Accutane is the best decision that I have ever made in my entire life. Ever, ever, ever. My only regret about Accutane is not doing it sooner. That is the only thing that I regret. I wish I would have just done it in high school. If you did not know, I was on Accutane and I have a ton of videos about Accutane.
right now I'm paying for oh I love seeing people's Venmo like I feel so nosy I'm like ooh someone got dinner someone charged someone for a poem interesting ooh pie I love when you can totally tell it's like something illegal that they bought you know what I mean I literally have been putting things in my to-do list to like text people to like check in on them and like ask them to hang out because one thing about me that I really want to improve on is that like I'm someone that's not good at reaching out to people first to make plans because I am a busy person so I always assume that everyone else is busy and I always assume they don't want to hang out with me when in fact I just need to be like yes people do want to hang out with me but I've always been really bad about paying people or not paying people I, I'm good about paying people back for things I'm bad about texting people first so I literally put it on my to-do list to text my friend and be like hey I'd love to hang out like when do you want to hang out last night I actually finished editing the video which I was really happy that I got that done especially recently it's been something where I'm like I'm so excited to do this right now this could really ruin my day I'm not on cloud nine I might be on cloud like seven six I, I know that's not like a saying but I'm not there but I'm, I'm better than I was yesterday we all know but I have an assignment for the class that I got a pretty bad grade I'm going back and forth with this because my friend and I are getting coffee tonight, but I'm a little afraid she's going to cancel on me. I should just text her. Okay, text her. Bam. That was so simple. But if I am getting coffee with her, I will do it then. But if I'm not, then I'll do it now. Do you see where I'm coming from? I'm planning my day around this. What just happened? What is going on? Huh? Did... Did I get hacked? What the heck? I literally thought that like my ASU account like with my canvas and my email got hacked. It like logged me out of everything and like it wasn't letting me log back in. It finally did. But what I think that I want to do now is if I'm going to do this stuff when we get coffee, if we get coffee, then I think that I want to look at her feedback and compare it to my essay. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I just do not have the motivation to do this. I feel like this is one of those things that I need to do all in one sitting. And I don't think that I can finish it with the time that I have. I so could. I just don't want to oh God, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna force myself to do it it's been a bit I read everything I started writing the paper except for the one issue that I'm really running into is this again is the exact same professor that gave me a 79 I guess 80 on my last thing but she'll put these I forgot what they're called she said identify and evaluate the RCs using the VRO framework I know what the VRIO framework is but what is she talking about for RCs I have no idea what that means I literally went through all the notes all of her videos I have absolutely no idea what RCs means I gave up an email to professor to ask Ask what it means. This is my second time emailing her in 24 hours. What a day. Today, not going as great as I was hoping for it to be, but I went to class and then I went to coffee with my friend Tori and I was working on that paper. It did not go well. It is a two page paper. Half of the rubric is just a bunch of big words strung together that have absolutely no like correlation. Like I have no idea what this professor is talking about. It is so frustrating. I'm like, if you want me to do something, just say what it is. She's like, explain X, Y, Z and X, Y, Z in multiple dimensions. I'm like, what is multiple? dimensions mean it's fine I'm fine everything's fine I'm just losing my mind the meeting is over it was a whole six minutes it was honestly like a little awkward but that's okay I'm glad that it didn't take that long because I just don't know if I have the brain power to do it after staring at a screen all day sorry that I've just been like really out of it today I feel like this class is really taking a lot of mental effort from me I'll be back on my game tomorrow but I will have to finish my paper tomorrow but I don't have class tomorrow so hopefully that will save me because I don't have to, like waste a ton of time like getting there and like being there I asked on my Instagram like how everyone's been doing and it seems like this week has not been going well for any of us so we're all in this together happy thursday once again today will be a better day i haven't even showered yet like i probably smell really bad because i just worked out thankfully you guys can't smell me but i have an amazon haul and that is why we are sitting in my amazon haul spot 
I ordered more protein powder because apparently I go through protein powder every two weeks. I signed up for the Amazon subscription for every two months and then <laughs> I looked at how often I was purchasing it and I was like, oh, I use it every two weeks. But it's the Organo chocolate protein powder. It's so good, you guys. And then I had to get another Hydro Flask lid. Mine, I basically broke off. I'll show you. For the past three days, my Hydro Flask has been open because I accidentally dropped it and broke off this little part. So all that is there is like jagged edge. Do you guys see the jagged edge? I also got this. I actually ordered this a while ago and then the package got lost in the mail. So then I just like requested them to refund me and I never rebought it, but I wanted to rebuy it. A little AirPods Pro case. And the main reason that I got it was because it has a little keychain. So I just wanted something that when I go to the gym, I can just like attach my AirPods to my keys. I keep forgetting my AirPods and then I'll have to like go back and get it. And it's this cute little pink color. And if I can remember, I will link it down below. Now I'm going to shower and just like start getting ready for the day. But I hope you enjoyed my Amazon haul. What a great way to start off our morning. <laughs> Just finished my thumbnail which means the next thing on my to-do list is to finish my paper that has caused me extreme amounts of anxiety and has quite literally ruined every single day of the week so far this week and I've been like trying to like procrastinate doing it because I have a feeling that my mood after I do it is going to plummet I'm not really wanting to and I just I don't want the same anxiety that I've had the past two days over it to happen today except for the issue is all the hard parts that I don't understand are left I did everything everything that I could and everything that I'm confused about I have to do now and so I just I don't want it to affect me the way it's affected me the past two days the fact that I have to do one of these papers every single week for the rest of the semester hurts and the fact is I know that I'm not going to get a great score on it again because I don't understand what's going on and I've already emailed her so many times that I feel embarrassed if I email her again I finished the paper. Am I proud of how the paper turned out? Yes. Do I think that I will get a score that reflects the amount of time, effort, and tears that I spent on this paper? No, I don't. Oh well, I don't want to deal with it anymore. I finished it and that's all that matters. I have an assignment due on Sunday and you can only submit it one time so you can't like submit it and then resubmit something else. I was a little confused about the format because the professor wanted it in one page and there was like quite literally no way that you could fit that amount of information into one page. So I emailed my professor and I was like here is like my paper. Because this is our first assignment I just wanted to make sure that I was doing the format correctly if you have any recommendations on how I can fit it all into one page please let me know and he has not responded I don't want to submit it and then like not be able to resubmit it so I'm just waiting on him right now I need to find some articles for the same class that I was just working on for a group project Next up on my to-do list is to finish editing this video. Okay, update. I did up until this point right here, but I did like all of this and then I just need to work on this, but I think that I need to take a little bit of a break. Also, I was thinking about this when I was editing, but I just want to say thank you guys for just always being so kind and supportive. Whenever I'm editing my videos, I kind of always like brace myself for like hate comments. Like I watch it from like a hater's point of view. <laughs> I know that's horrible to say, but I'm like, oh, people could really be annoyed that I said this. Oh, should I take this? up people are gonna be mad about this I remember when I didn't accept the job I was like people are going to like come for me and be like you don't have a work ethic all this stuff but you guys never do I always brace myself and prepare myself for the hate comments that I don't receive maybe those hate comments people just use the words that I have blocked you guys I just want to say thank you guys so much for just always being so supportive of me you just have so much like compassion and empathy for other people and I see like a lot of youtubers that get a lot of hate and I just I just don't and so I just want to say like thank you from the bottom of my heart for just like always being so understanding and supportive of everything that I do. I have like this burst of energy, but I just don't know if I can keep editing this video anymore. Let's see if my professor ever emailed me back. No, he did not. Hmm.
Okay guys, this is stupid. My bed skirt has been wrinkled for so long and I expected that just over time it would stop being wrinkled. Like the wrinkles would just come out, but that never happened. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna steam it. But my steamer sucks. It won't steam it unless it's like directly touching the clothes, but then it splatters water everywhere. But if it's not touching clothes, then it won't steam it. It's just, it's, it's a fail. And I mean, I got it to look like this, which is pretty good. And part of me is like, should I have just finished it? But then it burnt me. So I was like, I'm over it. But I kind of want to finish that. Okay guys, things did not go as planned. I have dinner plans with a friend tonight and I have really greasy hair, but I'm working out tomorrow morning. So I was like, okay, let's do a slicked back bun. But slicked back buns, in my opinion, sorry, I'm trying to find a bobby pin. But I was like, okay, I wonder if I could just make a simple makeup routine. No, I couldn't. Everything was just way, way pigmented than I thought. I was just not expecting the results that I got. So then I was like, okay, now I need to fix this. And now I have like a whole face of makeup on. I'll show you the very pigmented product products that I used. I was trying out some new Rare Beauty product, Rare Beauty Blush and Hope. This is the Cream Bronzer in Powder Boost. What? I don't know. Very pigmented. This is like a concealer and this is like the lightest concealer I own and I'm pretty pale. And then I wanted to use a liquid highlighter because I was like that would look really pretty, but I don't have one. So I saw that I have this Laura Mercier Illuminating Primer, but I think when I like set my face, it kind of diminished and also my neck does not match my face now. My minimal 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 makeup look did not go as planned and my flop era i'm just not feeling like my best self you guys so i'm wearing this bodysuit from zara these are from abercrombie and then i have this old like forever 21 jean jacket that i'm gonna put on it's like a black jean jacket because it's actually very cold out it's i mean obviously i know that every like state is going through some like winter blizzard and it's very windy here and i'm like ooh, burr but like it's cold for me i just don't think that i can pull off this hairstyle but does anyone think they can pull this hairstyle off like i feel like everyone thinks they look like an egg i just don't like it on me. I don't remember if I told you guys this, but my professor did email me back and he was like, oh, I'll look at this tomorrow night, as in Friday night. And I'm like, I did this assignment on Tuesday. Like, I, oh, I just want to turn it in already. But I'm gonna get dinner. Good morning everyone, happy Friday. We are starting off today's vlog in the car because my roommates are blasting music throughout our entire apartment and obviously copyright. And I'm not gonna tell them to like turn it off because they live there, they pay the same amount of money as me. It just feels wrong to be like, hey, turn that off, I'm trying to vlog. I actually have a few errands to run. We're here, why not? I thought I'd tell you guys how my morning started. So last night my professor emailed me, the one where I emailed him about like the page limit. And he basically was like, no, like it has to be one page no matter what looks like you're using the wrong font which I was in fact using the correct font so this morning I had to reformat my paper I had to delete a lot and I made the font a point smaller I would rather get marked off on format than content I just think the whole theme of today's video has been professors wanting us to fit a lot of information in a very little thing and I totally get it like they don't want to read 20 pages of a paper I totally get that because they don't want to grade that my mom and my sister are teachers I always like empathize with teachers because of that because I feel like I grew up as a mini teacher because my mom however don't ask 25 long-winded questions if you want us to fit it into one page just my thought just throwing that out there but the professor is still a really nice guy so i feel bad being like this sucks why are you doing this and then this morning i'm not gonna show this to you guys because first of all it's gross second of all it's inappropriate <laughs> but this morning i was showering you guys can see my hair is like still a little wet and i accidentally stepped on the drain and so water started pooling up kind of like you're taking a bath so i went to like lean down to pick up the drain so like the water would go down the drain and when I went up I scraped the side of it's kind of like borderline hip slash butt like I think it's like the side of my butt but this is so gross sorry I scraped it on my faucet and it is bad like I'm really afraid it's gonna scar and get infected because my apartment's really old and like of course I've wiped down the faucet on my shower but it, it still looks crusty and so it's bad and I would show it to you but I think that'd just be like 
nude you know right now i'm about to go get my tire pressure filled up because it's been really windy out so like the, every time the weather kind of gets cold my car is like whoa and needs to have the tire pressure fixed and then i'm gonna go to home goods because my roommates and i use a lot of shaker bottles and this is just like so random but we just have not had enough like we will wash them every single day and still not have enough so i'm just gonna take one for the team and buy some for us my tires are filled up and now we're in the home goods parking lot the complex that i'm currently in when i was younger the city that i live in was not as developed as it is now so we would have to drive to like the neighboring like city town to go shopping so we'd come here all the time when i was in this complex i saw the justice that i used to shop in all the time when i was a kid like that was my favorite store and part of me like wants to go in it just to see like what they have and kind of like relive my childhood like i wonder if they have like the scratch and sniff like monkey shirts and like the fuzzy notebooks that, like my mom would never let me buy but i think it also might be like a little creepy because i'm not gonna buy anything i just kind of like want to walk in and like look around but i think that might be creepy i don't think i should but i really want to for old time's sake but i don't think i will i just mm, i want to this is really annoying because i drove all the way out here to get them and they don't have it i like went on my way to get here oh my god update not too much has gone on since i've been back home i ordered some shaker bottles from amazon and then i had a package and it was a princess polly package and i'm doing a sponsorship with them the video might already be up honestly so i'll link it down below if it is but this is two of the things that i got this is the rest and then more i could have hauled the stuff in this video but i felt like this video was already very long just wanted to update you guys now i think that i want to get under my covers and just scroll on tiktok Bro. I was on FaceTime with my mom for a moment. I was on the phone with someone else. And then I am going to get burgers with my boyfriend. Very excited. This is what I'm wearing. It is quite literally, he's not gonna like it. <laughs> the joggers from Princess Polly. And then this is from Dizzy Dahlia's. It's like my Taylor Swift mirror ball sweatshirt that I love more than anything. I'm gonna show up and he's gonna be like, why are you in pajamas? And I'm gonna be like, low key, it's cold and comfortable. I love you guys so much. I love you. I'll see you in my next video because I'm just, this is all I have going for the rest of the day. I love you.